Yeah, China will buy 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 for the old one, welcome back. You know, I feel like this is very easy, man. I feel like I'm wasting my time here, okay? Let's get started. So, they say here, uh, when 100 are uh, ohm resistor, so you have a resistor connected across the terminal of a battery of EMF, also, oh, battery has EMF, an internal resistor R. The battery then deliver this power there, you know? So, have a power over there to 100 ohm, okay? So we got two parts of this question. Now they say 100 ohm now, resistor replaced. Oh, so we have two parts. So we came in there, replace 100 ohm <coughs> resistor. So we take 100, we replace with 200. So now let me write two cases here. So we know we got two cases. So let's say this is the first case. <coughs> so let's say this is the first case. And so let's say this is the second case. So let's write all the data. So for the first case, we have a resistor. So let's call this a resistor 1 equal to 100 ohm and then across the terminal of a battery of EMF. We don't know EMF. We don't know EMF? No, we don't know. So let's say EMF 1. We don't know. <coughs> internal resistors are So internal resistance of a battery is that we have? No, we don't have. Deliver power. Oh, so we have a power here. Power 1 equal to 0 0.794 what and then this power is going to be delivered to this resistor okay now when 100 resistor is replaced with 200 ohm oh so we replace this uh, resistor with 200 so let's call this resistor 2 equal 200 ohm now okay and now a better deliver so the same battery so if the same battery means we have the same internal resistors which we don't know because the same battery because the internal resistor is inside the battery you know inside that battery okay now the battery deliver power of zero point oh so we have a power two what is the power two uh zero point four zero one watt and then the resistance 200 one uh emf in internal resistance of a battery so emf is going to be the same because it's the same battery it's the same battery the only thing that changes is what is resistance from 100 to 200 the power change from these to that oh so i learned something if i have the same resistor you know the emf is okay well, no. so if i have the resi if the resistor is getting bigger means the power is getting the resistor smaller bigger the power the resistor get bigger the smaller the power so that's not part of the question they see so remember the same battery, let's say this is a battery, it means this battery is going to have the same EMF, you go to buy in a shop, you know, it's going to have the same EMF, and it's going to have the same internal resistance, you know what I'm saying? Now let's get started. So now, I'm going to do two cases first. So the first case, here I can get the current here, from this information I can get the current. From, we know from the formula of power, we say power, power equal to I, current times voltage, but this voltage here, Voltage from the Ohm's law, we say voltage, voltage equal to I times R is a voltage here. So I can replace this V with I R. Oh, so now I'm going to replace V with I R. Plus with I R. So also it's a power as well. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I times I, I square. So I will say, oh, so power equal to I square times resistor times P. You know why I didn't add now? Okay. Why did I use the first formula? Which is say power? Because the first one say power, power equal to IV. I did not use this because the information here have a resistance and a power. Power here, but I don't have a resistance. That's why I had to break this. V equal to I R, which be I, I times R. You know why? Because I have a resistance here. External resistance. Is R bigger than external resistance? So now that's why I'm gonna use this I square R times power. But for now, power one, I one. <coughs> Resistor is something constant, which is going to be 100. So we can plug it in. Let's plug it in. Power 1. What is a power 1? Our power 1, I can plug it in here instead of power. I'm going to say equal to 0 pin, 4, 4, 4, whatever you have here. Okay? So this one here, 
is going to give me what is my power? 1, uh, 0, 0.794 equal current. I do have a current. No, I don't have a current, so I'm going to say current square, current 1 square. Let me call current 1 square. So let's call it current 1 square. Current 1 square. Resistance, we have resistance equal to 100. Sum to 100 ohm. So now, if I want to be current here, I have to divide by 100 throughout. You know what I'm saying? So let's divide by 100 throughout. I'm going to raise here to get space. So let's divide by 100 throughout. So divide by 100, divide by 100. So I square is going to be I square. I square. is I1 square equal to 0 0.7, 0 0.7, 9, 4. Divide by hand. But how am I going to get cut into one? So I'm going to square root, square root here and square root there. So how I1 equal means the current to 1. If you plug in the calculator, I1 is going to give you 0, 0 point, uh, 0 point 0, 0.089111, one, etc. etc. Okay, so this is the phase current. You know what I'm saying? This is a phase current. So now, you know what I'm going to do? I want to get an EMF and internal resistance. So now, from that case, I'm going to say, oh, let me write the form of EMF. So EMF, the form of series, EMF, call this EMF, equal to current, but for this case, current 1, and then you always add external resistance plus internal resistance. External resistance plus internal resistance. So external resistance is different because remember it was 200, here for this side is 100. But internal resistance of battery is the same thing, does not change. Also, this is going to be, you don't have to say R1, R2, because it's going to be the same for battery. The battery, it has the same internal resistance because you use the same battery according to this information. So EMF, I don't know. Okay? I'm looking for this. Equal current. Equal to current 1 is 0. 0.08911. Resist external. Resist external, we know for this case, is 100. I don't know. So let me call this phase equation. So I'm going to do the same process all over for this one. Okay? So I'm going to raise this part. First case is done. So we do for the second case. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So if I want to get current 2, I can just start from here. Current 2. So for current 2, we know we're going to use the same game here. Current 2 equal to square root. Power 2. What is the power 2? Our power 2 equal to 0 0.4. Yeah, 0 0.401, 401 over because I'm going to start from here. You know what I'm saying? The only thing changes power and resistance. So I can just say current 2 equal to square root of, okay, now power equal to that one over, okay, over uh, uh, resistance equal to 200. Oh, so the current 2, we know. What is the current 2? You plug in the calculator, it's going to give you. Uh, Uh, current 2 is going to give you 0 0.0, 0, 0 0.04477, four, seven, seven, uh, just 775, okay, umpire. Oh, so we have a current 2, so we're going to do the same game here, okay? All over the same game. So we're going to say EMF equal to current 2. And then resistance 2 for this case, and then plus internal resistance. EMF equal to current 2. What is the current 2? Our current 2 equal to 0 0.0 4 4 7 7 okay external resistance equal 200 it's this one this is the 2 200 and then plus internal resistance is R oh so let's call this second equation so what happened EMF equal to this EMF equal to that so we can equate them we call this equal to EMF and this equal to EMF so I'm going to say this equal to that you know what I'm saying? So this is going to be 0 0.04477 200 plus internal resistance equal to the 0 0.4 0 0.01 and then we say 100 plus internal resistance. So what happened? I can either multiply that out or I can just divide by this throughout. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of ways you can do. But me, personal, I'll treat this as the one bracket because one bracket is this is the one number. Uh, zero point four zero point zero four zero point zero four four and then seven seven 
and then here you have a 200 ohm plus internal resistance equal equal to zero pin zero eight nine double one and then we got hundred plus internal resistance so for that case now we want to get emf we want to get internal resistance and emf so what i'm going to do here i can divide by either I can multiply that out or i can just divide by this throughout you know what i'm saying or i can just multiply in multiply in multiply in multiply in or if you don't want to do it, I can just divide by uh, 0 0.4 through R. So divide by 0 0.04477. Divide 0 0.04477. So this is this council. So you have a 200 plus R equal to take 0 0.0089. Divide by, so we say 0 0.089. One more divided by zero point zero four four seven seven one point nine nine. Oh, so this is going to give us one point nine nine, and here is hundred plus internal resistance. So I want to get resistance easy, so I'm going to multiply that out. So this is going to be two hundred plus internal resistance multiplied. So one point nine nine times by hundred, and this is going to give us one nine nine. So this is going to be one nine nine plus 1.99 resistance. So what happened is this has got over and this come over. So 200 minus 199 equal to 1.99 resistance minus 1 resistance. And this 0.99 resistor and this is going to give us 1. Divided by 0 0.99 0 0.99. This is this cancel. So internal resistance equal to so 1 divided by 1.99. 1 divided by 0 0.99. Okay. 1 divided by 0 0.99. So 1.01. Oh, so internal resistance. Our internal resistance are that. We got it. So our internal resistance equal to 1. 1 0, 1 in ohm. So we can get EMF. Either you can use this equation or that one right there. 8 of the other. So I'm going to use this to get EMF equal to 0 0.044. 77 seven. and this is going to be 200 plus r okay now so this will be 0 0.04 477 seven, 200 plus our internal resistance 1.01 1 .01 ohm and this is going to give us our emf of 9.0 let's see 9.0 see ah uh, yeah it's 9.0 you plug in calculator just to see 0 0.0 Four 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 seven seven and the bracket two hundred and then we plus by one point zero one bracket and it's gonna give us eight point nine nine. Oh so we get eight point nine nine. So this will give us eight point nine 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 nine. Nine 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 blah blah. So I'll say our EMF by voltage. So if you approximate this equal to nine volts. So according to the question they say find EMF internal resistance which you have the bulk. Our EMF equal to 9 and internal resistance which you represent by small r equal to 1.1 ohm yeah. and it's going to be a final answer thanks a lot for your time peace it just waste your time when you do this question and it's easy like that man thanks a lot you know what i'm saying look man i believe in learning from how to do things if it's time make sure you subscribe and you know you can just go and do donation to our patreon page i have a patreon i have a gofundme you know what I'm saying? I have all the means of donation because to make this project going, you know, any type of donation, the little that you think is too small for you, it could make a lot of change. And thanks a lot for all your time. You know, subscribe. Don't forget, share this video, circulate to a lot of people. You know, because the meaning of this project, this program, is to help as many as we can. Okay? It's not only for one patient or two because you might think it's not helpful for you, but for somebody next out there, could be very very helpful so thanks a lot of man and you know any donation that you did to me it means so much i appreciate man it means a lot go to our patreon page go to our uh go find me because we need to have a you know a lot of things we need to put them together like camera you know and a lot of equipment so that we can improve on you know a lot of angle a lot of aspects of these projects you know thanks a lot of man i appreciate and i love you peace and love
you know, this is one of my students of knowledge. You know, she wanted to introduce herself. What's your name? Could you please introduce yourself? My name is Camille. I'm yeah. from Saint Mary's School. Yeah, I'm trying to work Trying to work I'm trying to work bands. Just everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is my other student. His name, what's your name? Matthew. Matthew. Yeah, he's great level man. So his aim is to score distinction, right? So you promise I want you to score distinction this time. And what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, well, how much you promised me to score this time? Distinction. <laughs> Distinction. Distinction. Yeah, so I'm trying to about you everywhere, man. I'm trying to about you. Everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to about you everywhere. Everywhere. Uh -huh. I'm trying to about you exactly. everywhere. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Helped a lot. Uh, first, I, I redid first year for maths. It was my own fault, but also I didn't know a lot of the work. And Amy said lots of hard questions, and it's it's demotivating sometimes to do the harder stuff. You like just want to get done, but it's the hard stuff that makes you realize the easy stuff is easy. Sing with me and say 